another important part of the brain is cerebellum the cerebellum it is not like that of the cerebrum in many ways and it is about 1 to 10 ratio that means cerebrum and cerebellum by weight it is 1 tenth of the cerebrum and it is situated in the posterior cranial fossa below the occipital lobe this is occipital lobe and this is cerebellum so in between these two is a fold of dura mater that is called tentorium cerebelli. So both these are in the posterior cranial fossa which is mainly formed by the occipital bone. And this cerebellum it is a cut section of one half of the cerebellum. So it is called cerebellar hemisphere and this one is the cerebellum. Then what are the general features of this cerebellum? The cerebellum means little brain and it is Latin word and it is the largest part of the hind brain. You know hind brain means cerebellum, pons and medulla, the largest part of the hind brain and its weight is about 150 grams. We can see only the exposed part of the cerebellum because 15 percent of the cortex is exposed and remaining 85 percent is buried at the bottom and the walls of the fissures. I will show you the fissures like cerebrum here you can see there is a sulci and gyri. So the only one third of the cerebrum is exposed, two third is, is buried under the depth of the sulcus and the wall of the sulcus. Here also in case of sulcus we will get the fissures. So in the wall of the fissures and the depth of the fissure the maximum part of the cerebellum is, is buried, 85 percent buried and 15 percent exposed and it is separated from the pons and medulla by the fourth ventricle. This is fourth ventricle and the cerebellum is connected to all the three parts of the brain stem with the midbrain by superior cerebellar peduncle, with the pons the middle cerebellar peduncle, with the medulla by inferior cerebellar peduncle. So first of all when you are asked to hold the cerebellum in anatomical position how you will hold or what are the points you will keep in mind before holding the specimen in anatomical position. And you all know this is the brain stem, it is pons, this is medulla and above it is the midbrain. So behind this pons and medulla is the cerebellum. So these two parts and all the parts of the brain stem will be in front and the posterior part is the cerebellum and superior surface of the cerebellum it is convex and in the midline the ridge like elevation called vermis which is continuous with the superior surface of each hemisphere and the inferior surface here they are separated by a furrow or by a hollow called valicula this is called valicula and this is one hemisphere and both are inferior surface of two cerebellar hemisphere. So, valliculi is on the under surface or inferior surface. And anterior end here, there is a notch here, this notch. This is fourth ventricle and this notch is the anterior notch and which is wide and shallow. But posterior notch or called posterior cerebellar notch, this one, it is narrow this is narrow but it is deep. So it is identified by this depth and also narrow. This is a posterior cellular notch. Now we know superior surface is known by the vermis, inferior surface is known by the vallicula, anterior end is known by the anterior cellular notch which is white but it is shallow, posterior end it is no, known by the posterior cellular notch which is uh, narrow and deep. So in this way uh, now we know the all the areas surfaces superior interior and their posterior. Now we will hold the specimen in this way. So this is the anatomical position of cerebellum with brainstem in front. This is cerebellum, 
this is brain stem in front so this is the animal position of cerebellum 